Hello, Chandler here with SkillAboveRVTesters.com. I wanted to do a quick video on how to retract and extend hydraulic slides uh, utilizing the Cotty Wample when you have a hydraulic leveling system. The tools that we're going to want to use is the Cotty Wample itself. And we're going to use a couple of different adapters as well. We're going to use the Lippert leveling system adapter that we have. It's going to have a six pin on one end and a nine pin connector on the other. The six pin connector is going to plug into the M2 port of the Cotty Wample. The nine pin connector is going to plug in at your leveling system controller. So you're going to unplug the nine pin connector there and you're going to plug it into the harness. Do not plug this into the controller. It will not fit. Okay, so it clicks right into place. Now the next thing we're going to need is our awning extension cable and our alligator clips. We're gonna plug the awning, uh, the alligator clips into the awning extension cable using the SAE two pin connector. And we're gonna plug the six pin connector into the M1 port. We're going to need to identify our cartridge valve for our slide outs. This right here, we have identified as our slide out cartridge valve. These right down here, we have two of them, one of them is for curbside and one is for street side uh, rear jacks. So we are not going to mess with these down here. This is our only cartridge valve and it's running three hydraulic slides. So what first thing we're gonna do is disconnect those, isolating the coil. Now one of these is a ground wire, so be cautious with what you do with it. Don't just swing it around. You can touch a positive post somewhere. and we are going to connect our alligator clips to these spade connectors. It does not matter which, which one you connect it to, okay? It, it's not polarity sensitive. Okay, now that we are connected, if we hit both up arrows on M1 and M2, it is going to retract the slides. If we hit the down arrow on M1 and M2, it is going to extend the slides. So let's see this thing in action. If we hit the M1 arrow up, we can actually test our cartridge valve and see the amperage on it. So that tells us that the coil is working on that one. And then we can run just the pump with this one. Okay. And we could go the other way as well. All right. So we can see that the pump is working and we can see that the valves is working. Now what we're gonna do, is hit the up arrow and up arrow on M1 and M2. And it is going to bring the slide in. All right, hit the down arrow and the down arrow. Perfect. 